Welcome to Morbid Smile Art. Today I'm working on a mermaid piece that I worked on for Mermaid last month, and I was experimenting with different types of watercolor paper. I've been working with Arch's uh, cold press paper, and the cold press paper is pretty interesting. Um, it gives you a, it has a rough texture, and it's very thick, and so it grabs up a lot of the, uh, the water really well. Let me show you a thing that I didn't mean to experiment with, but accidentally did. This was my first attempt at a watercolor piece. Um, I drew it all out. I was really happy with it. This is on mixed media paper, Strathmore mixed media. Um, I've used this paper before, but after using Arches paper, I was like, wow, this is a lot harder to work with. The colors didn't blend very well. It looks kind of blotchy. Her face, I don't know what happened to it. Um, and it just it just ended up looking very washed out and weird. And I could have gone back through and done more stuff with it and probably fixed it. But I was so annoyed by this point that I just kind of was like, you know what? I'm going to start over on my arches paper. And I did. And this is how it ended up looking. So the arches paper soaked up the water so much better. It soaked up the color and spread it around. Um, it enabled me to work with it a lot more. The color stayed a lot more vibrant. This is using the exact same color palette, except for the shininess, obviously. Same color palette and same paint, but just vastly different results. And the illustration was the same. I went back with my light box and did the exact same thing. So. You can, you can really see a, a huge, huge difference. Um, look at her tail, for example. The color in the tail is a lot more vibrant. I used a mixture of different watercolors here. Whereas in her tail over here, you see how it looks a lot more dull, even though I'm using really bright. This is, these are Daniel Smith watercolors. This is Moon Glow, and I used some opera pink from um, Windsor & Newton. And then I used uh, Daniel Smith Amazonite Genuine and some Cerulean Blue, and you would not be able to tell. Like, this looks like a mess. Same colors over here, and you can see all the different colors that are popping up in there. Let me bring this up closer so you can see the, the detail. See how nice that looks? Look how pretty and detailed it is. It turned out a lot cleaner. And compare that to this tail. Same paints, both are high quality, but the paper made all the difference. Now the downside of the arches cold press is because the surface is so rough, it's really really good for a watercolor. It sucks when you're trying to use pen. So I can't go back with pen. All of this outlining you see is done with a thin liner brush. So I had a lot of different mermaid ideas. I, I'm pretty happy with some of them, but it took me a little while to get the general shape and the flow down. Um, and finally I came up with uh, Pearl and Smiley. Well, I'm pretty, pretty happy with both of them. Overall, this was a really fun piece to do. I got to test out my watercolors and I got to create something really tender and soft, which I don't normally go for. I really found that working with the cold pressed watercolor that was by Arches, I got a much better result. The mixed media paper, which I've used a lot with good results, I'm having trouble going back to that because now that I've started using a high quality 100% cotton paper, I find that the watercolor just comes out so much more vibrant. And even though I do have to go back in and I have to do my outlining that I like to do with ink, I feel as though the end result looks a lot better. So just some tips and things that I've discovered. I really enjoyed Mermaid this year, got a lot of really good stuff done. People seem like they want to see more of my reflection on my process, what works and what doesn't and why. So I'm going to be doing some more of that. Check out some of my other videos, I've got a lot of informative stuff. Anyway, thank you so much, I appreciate you, stay spooky, and I'll see you later.